Hello, John Weber in Bluffton, South Carolina today. I am an associate broker with Charter One Realty, market leader, undisputed market leader in the low country. I am shooting a video today in Bluffton to tell you about the growth of Bluffton in the three hubs of Bluffton. If you are interested in learning about the growth of the area, please continue watching, subscribe to the channel, that'd be awesome. And let's go take a look at the growth in Bluffton. Today, I am in a shopping area called Berkeley Place on Buckwalter. When I used to meet with clients, I would take a map of Bluffton and I would draw like a triangle. If you're watching this video and I spoke to you, you'll remember the triangle I used to draw. This video is pretty much my own doing, my own summary of the growth of Bluffton. I uh, read something in the, um, in the Bluffton news about the growth of Bluffton probably a year ago, and they put this area, Berkeley Place, as one of the hubs of Bluffton for future developments, being pushed out, the growth. So that's where I am today. I'm talking about the three hubs of Bluffton. The other hub is about six miles west in an area where 46, State Road 46 and 170 intersect. That is a huge area, brand new Publix is there, a lot of shops going in there. Um, Four Seasons, the 55 plus community is in that area and New Riverside. There is a gigantic area called uh, New Riverside Village that's going in there and it's gonna be huge with residential, uh, commercial, and I shot some drone footage uh, of that whole area. So the other hub of this growth is in Old Town Bluffton. So if you draw a triangle from Old Town up to where I'm standing right here, and then over to uh, New Riverside Village, you will see the three hubs of Bluffton. All of the growth is going westbound, all headed out towards st uh, the interstate, I-95. So to the south, you have Savannah, 45 miles. To the north, you've got Buford and a little bit further than that, you've got uh, Charleston. So I always used to tell people, if you're near those, the triangle of the three hubs for real estate, there's real value there because of all the growth going west, uh, you wanna be in obviously for property values. Uh, years ago, when Latitude Margaritaville purchased uh, property out uh, west of here, you couldn't give property away out there five years ago. It was just slow going. Now Latitude comes in, they buy that real estate out there by uh, I-95, it is going like gangbusters. So just a short video today, just to let you know about the three hubs of Bluffton growth. And there's something to this. This is my own doing. Nobody told me about this, but I just kind of figured it out by looking at the growth and where the real estate sales are going. Hilton Head is Hilton Head. Famous beaches, restaurants, villas, hotels, got all of that, but there's not a whole lot of place to develop there. So it's all on the mainland and it's all going west. So when you come to town, consider calling the John Weber team. We're a full, full service uh, brokerage company with Charter One Realty. I've got agents that uh, uh, work with a lot of clients as buyer's agents. We can guide you through this process. Market conditions are a little bit tough and you don't wanna connect with a real estate agent that might be part-time, new, or, or just not familiar with all the fees of all these gated communities around here. So give us a call, John Weber team, if you look below in this video, you will see many of our essential guides. You can click on the link, get the guide about the buyer's guide, last year's market guide, ultimate guide, things like that. So we hope to see you down here in the low country. 
And uh, remember this video. So years from now, it'll be interesting to see how this all develops, but I call it my three hubs of Bluffton future development. Come see us in the Low Country.